well, what's going on, Coronation? Man, another rough game tonight, as this game was not even close. We get blown out and lose 12-1. to Yes, 12-1 to the Philadelphia Phillies in the second three. And uh, as the same was Friday night, the Cardinals got the first run of the game, which came on a home run in the third inning, and then the Phillies scored 12 unanswered runs. And we had just three hits in this game, with one of the three being on a home run. And, yeah, uh, Dakota Hudson went five and a third and was actually looking pretty good. Uh, and, yeah, it's just a rough game overall. So, after t uh, two scoreless first two innings, we would take a one nothing lead on the a solo home run, the first major league home run. For Luke and Baker, the rookie, and yeah, so a great moment for him, uh, and he had big numbers in the minors this season and throughout his entire minor league career. And now, finally gets his first home run in the majors, so that would give the Cardinals a one hunting lead. Uh, and it would stay that way until the bottom of the third, uh, with on a single and then back-to-back -back walks to load the bases for Trey Turner, who would then run into a double play, scoring a run, and then Bryce Harper, RBA single to give the Phillies a two-to-one lead, and then bottom of the fourth, Bryson Stott solo home run, uh, his thirteenth. That would make it a 3-1 to one Phillies lead. Uh, and then Harper with the single in the bottom of the fifth to give them a 4-1 to one lead. And then uh, Phillies starter Zach Wheeler would go seven innings, including retiring the final uh, 12 Cardinals batters. But actually uh, face Tyler O'Neill in the eighth. So and then uh, Hudson, after giving up a sack fly to Alec Bone, make it a 5-1 game, and then walking JT Ramuto would be done after 5 and a third. So not a terrible outing. I mean, he pitched in the sixth inning, only struck out one. Uh, and, well, yeah, but not a, not a terrible outing. Walked five, though. So his control uh, wasn't great. So in that, the bottom of the seventh, Trey Turner, RBI single to make it a 6-1 game. And then a three-run homer by Nick Castellanos off of Giovanni Gallegos. That would give the Phillies a 9-1 lead. And then later in the inning, Brandon Marsh with a three-run homer to make it 12-1. So two three-run homer, three-run homers for the Phillies in the seventh to make it a 12 to one game, seven runs in the inning. And yeah, so in just a third of an inning, Gallegos will give up uh, two three-run homers. So that's not an outing he wanted, obviously. So, and then Andrew Suarez would come in and get a get the uh, last four outs for the Cardinals. So, but man, yeah, just a, uh, just another rough game, and you know, this is a very good Phillies team with a very good lineup, but just uh, just can't have this happen. Yeah, we had just three hits in this game, uh, with one of the three coming on that home run, the first home run in the majors for Luke and Baker. So, anyway, we're guaranteed another series loss, but looking to avoid getting swept Sunday afternoon when. Rookie Drew Rom will get his second major league start against Aaron Nola for the Phillies. Nola, one of the most consistent pitchers in baseball. Uh, he's having another 
solid year, 165 strikeouts, just 40 walks, although he has allowed 29 home runs, uh, and has a high ERA at over four. So, and Drew Rahm in his first start against the Pirates on Monday wasn't a terrible outing, uh, but, you know, it wasn't terrible, it wasn't great. So, hopefully he'll bounce back and we can get a win before we're heading home posting another very good team in the National League, the San Diego Padres. So, till Sunday, Kyle McSpeaker saying go Cards.